guys and welcome back to my channel. So, I've been meaning to do this video for such a long time. My fears have been confirmed. It has been a massive faff. A logistical faff in order to get all of my lip products, of which there are many. And for the record, I am not a beauty blogger. I have not been sent any of this. I bought it all myself. So, as somebody whose job is not makeup, this is a lot of lipstick. Nobody needs this much lipstick, realistically. But yes, this is my, like, lip collection. Licks, li licks dips. Lipsticks and lip balm. I, uh, I hate liquid lipsticks. The way I'm gonna order this is essentially we're gonna start with the least expensive brands working our way up the price point, which then kind of organizes itself quite neatly into like lip balm, then versus lipstick. We're gonna start with Maybelline. I've been buying these for such a long time. They are my favorite thing. They are so colorful, so playful, and just so great. I can't like fault them, especially for like, what, two and a bit quid? Like, you cannot go wrong. So I'm just gonna like run through them and say what they smell like and any thoughts I have on them. Let's do this. This is the first one I bought. It's like a neon one. It is pink punch. I never wore so much because it was very a bit too like neony pink, but this was their original one, I think. It's okay. It's a nice like sentimental thing. I don't not gonna get rid of it, but I don't use it. Next, this is Melon Mania. It smells like watermelon, very sheer. Had this wore this a lot at school. This is Peach Kiss. It smells like peaches, kind of a little bit glittery, very nice, like sort of what? No, my lips are just this nice kind of thing. Tastes great too, if you're kissing boys. This is one I found in the States, but you don't, I haven't seen it in the UK. It's called Grapevine. It smells very, very like synthetic grapes. Quite dark, never really wore this very much. Not entirely sure why I bought it, but as is. This one is intensive care. <laughs> smells very intense care. Smells very nothingy, kind of just like a product. I have literally gone through so much of this though, it's unbelievable. Like this is the one that lived in my blazer pocket for a very, very long time. This one is called Hydrate. This one I also had left in my blazer pocket the entire time because it was the most useful thing to just sort of grab out, put on my lips and then get on with my life and obviously in sixth form nobody, nobody cares that you're wearing makeup, which is great. Um, these are kind of like the original ones, if you like. Then they started coming out with like limited edition season ones, which I have many of. I get so excited when I see them. I'm like, oh my god. I like the menthol doctor rescue ones. I don't think these are very good for your lips almost. I feel like these made my lips worse. Um, they just have menthol in them. Well, I thought I'd wear these more than I did, but I found like if I'm looking after my lips, I I do go into more expensive products to like heal them if there's been a problem. And because that's less of a play sort of thing, I would maybe recommend that if your lips are like trapped and like dying. Next I have these three. So this is vanilla cupcake. Does in fact smell of vanilla cupcake, which is great. Can't, there's no, I ain't got no problem with that. This one is chai tea latte. I don't, I don't know if it's meant to smell like a chai tea latte. I don't really know what they smell like, but it smells very like you think you think it would. This is pumpkin spice. So I know these were the autumn ones. I feel like I lost the other one for this. I lose them in handbags and stuff. These are really fun, and I sort of swap them in and out of handbags seasonally. So having seasonal collections works, I guess, because the smells are just so delicious. These two are like winter ones. This is hot cocoa, which is again, a more like nudie one. And yes, it does in fact smell like hot chocolate. This is sweet apple and is very like sickly sweet, but kind of like very Christmassy. And you kind of, you would want to have this on your lips. These two are like summer. They are baby lips sport. This one is just clear. It's SPF 20. This one is bright pink and it smells like tropical fruit. Oh my God, that smells great. This is also SPF 20, but it's really, really pink because it couldn't look fabulous and be SPF'd up. This one was like, I think like it's a Valentine's Day one, like last year. And it's like, just got baby lips with a kiss on it. And it smells like mint. Peppermint pink, beautiful. This I bought, but I don't really know why I bought it. I probably shouldn't have bought it. It's a Baby Lips Colour Balm Crayon, and I really haven't worn it. It's not, it doesn't really smell of anything. It's not a colour that really looks very good on my lips. It's kind of reminded me of like a cheaper version of the like, you know, the, the, the Clinique, like chubby, chubby like things. I can't fault Maybelline's Baby Lips range. They are so great. Um, they can't do any wrong because they're so cheap. Yeah, what do you mean? Like the weird that I have. One, two, three. What do you mean 18 is too many? <laughs> Hello, I just swatched everything. I'd like to point out, my freaking arm smells amazing. <laughs> Next, we are moving on to some more like lippy, just looking after myself stuff. This is the Burt's Bees 
one in pomegranate. This always made my lips tingle, so, and it kind of just, the Burt's Bees, I think it's too waxy, which bees, wa be yeah, beeswax, I didn't really use it very much, made my lips feel weird. This is Norwegian formula. It's also, it's SPF 20. This I have when I go skiing, because it kind of makes your lips look a little bit like, kind of white and a bit chalky, which isn't exactly the best look ever. If I'm looking after my lips, I'm a big fan of any kind of lip butter. This is the Body Shop Shea Lip Butter, and I'm having a hard time finding it, and it's really annoying, but I like anything Shea Butter, you can't go wrong. As you can see, I've used loads, because the thing is, like, lip butters, they're not goopy, so you can put them on overnight. More lip butters, these are Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. Fleur Falls recommended this in her video absolutely ages ago. I've already bought a backup for this because it's absolutely fantastic. It's like a quid something, like, it's so good for my lips, it's actually what I've got on right now. It's just the smell of chocolate. Oh, this is the original formula one, and this is the dark chocolate and cherry. Honestly, because this is so pigmented, I haven't lip balm I like to just like chuck on. And if I'm gonna pay more attention to it, I will just wear a lipstick because this is this is really pigmented. But if you want something that's like dark and like more pigmented, but you don't necessarily want to spend that much money on a lip product, this is your gal. Next, we're going to what you know I wear on my lips all of the freaking time because you often often ask about these ones. This is NYX makeup, yay. Any OG watchers will know, I have been obsessed with the soft matte lip creams for ages. And they're not uncomfortable to wear. And obviously like, they're so cheap. Five, six quid, like, this is what you want. I have them in London, Cannes, Antwerp, and Monaco, uh, Monte Carlo. Sorry, my bad. Which is in Monaco, is it? I don't know anymore. These are so nice. I think they last really well. They're really nice to apply. They're really nice to wear. I think the colour you can build really well. I find them really good staples because they go with everything. These three are very new. This is a lot brighter actually than you'd think it is. Again, I can't fault them. So these, these like absolute fives. Ride or dies. That's the term, isn't it? These other two that I have, I'm just gonna quickly talk about them because I don't really wear them. This was the, what, NYX lingerie in 11. I didn't like this. This is like meant to, it's meant to like, you know, it's one of those that like dries down. Never could get this right. Can't, just, it, didn't like it. And this is the NYX liquid suede. I bought this for a Halloween party. It was cheap and it's colorful. That's about as much as you really need to know about this one. Unfortunately, now the last of my high street stuff. This is a lip gloss from Rimmel. It has argan oil in it. I mean, it's like sticky as like a lip gloss is, but I just liked it because it has argan oil in it. That's the only reason I'd care. Next, I have a internet holy grail. Ah, the Glossier Balm.com Universal Skin Self. I will not lie to you, the first time I smelt this, I almost gagged. It is not, it just, oh my God, it smells, oh, it does, does not smell great. Part of me is also like, but that means hopefully they spent more money on like the actual product. And it's very like basic essential. They have other ones as well, but I just wanted to like basic. And this is very much like, you can, I've been putting on my cuticles on my like, elbow as well. So you can't go wrong with this, but the smell is questionable. Formula though, it's great. Trendy Vaseline. <laughs> now for MAC lipsticks. I bought a lot of MAC when I was like 14, 15, 16, but then I did stop buying it. I really like the selection they have. It's really fun. I have, what, seven. This is Snob. I always found this one just a bit too, because it's like a matte formula, but it's just a little bit too like pink in the wrong way. There's videos I've done with it and you can just, it's a bit aggressive. It kind of washes me out, which is not great. The next one is Sandy B. Um, I like this. This is such a nice nude. It's like got that little bit of like sparkle in it that kind of makes you go like, ooh, you're just, are you just that pretty or are you wearing makeup? <gasps> this is one that I would wear if I'm trying to really go like natural pinky kind of, oh, I'm, I'm not wearing makeup. I am just this stunning kind of like makeup day. You know the ones. This is Hot Gossip. There we go, ooh, this is this one. For me, it's just very flattering. I'm pretty sure it would be universally flattering because it's just a little bit deeper of a pink. Again, it's one of those like, gosh, we're so pretty, but I'm like, oh, but I've got stuff on my lips. But this is one my mum really likes as well because especially with my like, because I've got dark hair and like, I do have like darker undertones to my skin that like, 
this kind of colour does really work. Next I have Dangerous. This is like one of my like holiday lipsticks. It's kind of it's really a summer colour. You really want to make sure that you've exfoliated your lips. Like it's a bit intense in terms of how matte it is, which you can see on the swatch. And it is pretty transparent proof though. I mean, relative for a lipstick, right? This is well. Oh my god, do you remember when like everybody had this? Oh my god, we were all obsessed with it. Christ. Kind of like such a good for like a grungy look. Why don't we all obsessed with that? Was that like 20? Was that like 2015? Can somebody tell me it wasn't? It's a cult classic. I did buy it because everyone else had it and I do maintain that with such of my colouring it just looks great on me. Yeah, that's about it. This, oh my god, Rebel. That is exactly how I fucking felt with this. When you know, when you're like 16 and you need like an emotional outlet, like 50, when you like need that like I'm gonna rebel against shit and you just kind of want to be like, look, I'm edgy because my lipstick's purple. There must be videos of me wearing this. If you go through like my like OG YouTube, fun fact, I haven't unlisted anything apart from things on my very first camera, so I'm sure you can find videos of me wearing this in. This one is called Fetish. I bought it because of the name, but it's this really cool like brown and sparkly, and you can see with my light, it's so reflective. I love it. I did buy this for a Halloween party, I haven't worn it very much. I'm kind of past the season to wear it, but then the season where I could wear it, my lips were fucked for a few months. Hence why I like sort of invested a little bit more in my like lip care. I have a couple lipsticks from a couple different companies. Um, generally, if I like a formula of a lipstick, I will go back and buy more and more and more, as you have seen. So these are kind of like ones I tried, and then I didn't like like it that much for me to want to go buy another one. This is the only Nars lipstick I own. It's called Damage. Does this kind of Colour. It's very sheer, it smells atrocious, so I never wanted to put it on my lips because it just really does kind of smell a bit minging. Never enjoyed it, really, so that's why I never bought another one. I thought it was overpriced, I thought it was. Um, and that's the end of that. Next, I went in with a Givenchy. It's kind of the packaging is a bit weird, but besides that, and besides being a bit overpriced, but this is, okay, but it is very similar. Mmm, that's very similar, hang on, let me get, yeah, mm, even, yeah, okay, they're not 100% the same. Some of you will probably be screaming at me going, yes they are. But it's just not like a very special colour, if that makes sense. Like, I don't really 100% feel like I should have been able to justify it to myself. It's very nice fancy sort of lipstick, but for its price point, I don't feel fancy enough taking it out and putting it on. It's like about the experience, guys. It is about the fucking experience. So I just didn't find it. I was like, eh. Pass. This is amazing. It is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. It saved my lips from, you know, just peeling off of my face. Also, I'm quite smug. I bought this all on Boots Point, so I didn't actually pay anything for it, which makes me feel very good about myself. So if you're in the UK, a Boots card is your best friend. This is just so good. Also, you know, they have the, they have a blue one for fuck's sake. And the sales assistant was like, yeah, no, you can't see the blue on your lips. Is a lie. I look a bit yellow when I'm wearing this. There's like a pink one and a red one, so maybe go with those if you're not in public. I wear this when I go to bed. Great for winter. I just love the applicator. Look at it, it's so big. This is also a very adorable little sort of sentimental one of mine. It's not really a color that's in my color palette. It doesn't go with anything really that I have, but it's sentimental because it's the first Chanel lipstick. The yeah, only Chanel lipstick actually, not a big fan. But the fact is, I bought this on in Boots Points. This is the first thing I bought on in Boots Points. So, you know, it was free. So I just wanted to indulge and feel fancy, but I've really not reached for it. I didn't, you think I would have, but I just didn't really care enough. Now to honestly one of my favorite formulas ever, and I want more of them. These are Marc Jacobs lipsticks, and I love them a lot. They're doing minis for like Christmas collections, so I got this. Look at it, I have like a little Marc Jacobs clutch that my lipstick came in. <laughs> Basically, they're really mini, as you can see. There were five of them, so like, so just test around. And it came in this, so that was really cool. Because so I did buy this for one, which was full size, and I just fell in love with the formula so much, and I always get a lot of compliments on it. So I was like, I'll try the little ones. This one is No Angel, and I find it a little bit it's not 100% the right sort of thing for me um, in terms of my aesthetic. I think it's kind of like a, a bit of a paler whirl. So you have that same texture and I think matte things that are too light don't really work. Um, and I just I eat too much for it to really work for me. Next, this is Slow Burn. I really like the names for all of these. Um, and again, this one was a little bit deeper. I think this is quite similar to Whirl. Oh yeah, look at that. Do you see that? That is really similar, hang on. 
yeah that's quite similar isn't it so you know if you want a dupe instead of buying like a full-sized one of these it wasn't exactly special for me so i just didn't find gravitate towards it that much this is o'malley which is like such this is such a nice red this is the red i wore at christmas two years ago it's just it's in my floor it's just such a classic red it's like a red red you know everyone needs a good red lip so if you're going to invest in a good red lip this is a good lip to invest in. This is like my bay of all bays. Oh my god, look at that colour. It's the most amazing for me. Like the first time I put it on, I was literally like, oh my god, I'm having a religious experience. This is called Boy Gorgeous. And boy, do I look gorgeous wearing this. Most complimented on lipstick. That is all. This is like a darker one that I just hadn't really had the chance to wear very much. It is quite bougie. Miss Scarlet. I like this. It's nice. Not that exciting though. Wouldn't buy it. A full size one if that makes sense. This one is such like a gimmicky kind of one for my taste anyway because it's so purple. I think I've worn this in a video once. Um, it's very intense. It's not exactly my style so again I wouldn't buy a full size but it's kind of like fun to have for like a Halloween thing or for a particular night out. Just a little bit more out there. Also if anybody wants to know what my highlight is from it's um, I actually make it myself. It's called Sweat. You often ask me for wearing highlight and I'm not. I'm just literally just sweaty. I promise we're almost done. These are my YSL lipsticks. This, I put it a while ago, it's kind of more sentimental value. Really similar colour to the Marc Jacobs Boy Gorgeous, but it's a lot sheerer. So it's just something I like to sort of, when I'm not, when I kind of want to be a little more like, I put effort in, but not like that much effort in. This is nice. This is like, oh, it's such a... Do you, do you see this? This is such a summer colour. Oh my God, it makes me excited for summer and the packaging is so like oh, oh this is one of those things where like, you put it on and the entire process of like you just feel better the entire day because you know you look good i right, know i'm wearing it in a summer vlog i think i'm wearing it in my second ever weekly vlog if you guys want to go dig that up because i know it's there it's on the thumbnail and lastly now to my favorites i am obsessed with dior lipsticks completely obsessed if i could get pr from anybody Make a PR, it would be Dior. Oh my god, I just absolutely love their lip products. And the fact is, I keep going back and I just, I'm never disappointed. So then, like, every single, like, even different types, I'm like, this is great. Let's buy another one. Let's see what this does. And I'm just, I'm never disappointed. Like, that is ridiculous for a company not to ever disappoint me. It's amazing. Me and a friend were actually, like, discussing their lipsticks. And we were, I was talking about, like, their lip glow. And then she was like, but make sure you don't buy the collagen lip thing. That's such a gimmick. And I was like, yeah, too late. This is so much fun. It's so dumb. It's so much fun. Because, like, you put it on and your lips tingle. And then I'm like, ah, oh, my lips have actually got bigger. And it's just something I really enjoy. And it says that if you use it for two weeks in a row, it's, like, counts like a lip collagen lip treatment. Um, so I'm gonna tell myself that, but I just think I look really cute. Not when it gets stuck in my hair, but I really, really like this. Just look at it, like, look at the packaging, it's freaking gorgeous. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. I feel like a princess. And that's priceless. This is the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. It's like the, the original one they have. I'm aware they've released more in different colors. So I kind of, I'm really interested in those. This is the one I kind of absentmindedly grab and like put on my lips in the library. It's in all my handbags. It just makes me feel beautiful. Even holding this, I just feel like a princess. So I'm, it's so dumb. Oh, I just feel special. As long as you kind of get with my thought process, like I wouldn't spend that much money on something if then it didn't also make me feel like this. Like it's not just about the lip product, okay? Okay? Oh, I love this one. This is Rouge Dior 60 Premiere. It's a really, really, really flattering pink. Like, why did I wear this? I think I wore this one to the opera and it made me feel like a million dollars, basically. It's great and I just love the packaging. It's so aesthetic and it just lasts really well. It smells amazing. Like, honestly, the wear time on all these Dior ones is fantastic. Like, on everything, I can't fault them, apart from the fact that they're really expensive. But then I can accept that they're so expensive because I can't find any other fault with them. Is that a justifiable thought process? Let's hope so. I have another one of those called Vogue. 565. I believe they vamped up this line. This is one that before, this is one after. Basically, they look exactly the same. Oh, look at that pink. It's fantastic. I have to pay so much attention to what I'm gonna wear if I wanna wear this, but it's it makes me feel like I'm just that little bit more ridiculous and out there, and I like that. Oh my god, when this came out, I was so excited. This is the Dior Addict Lip Tattoo 
long wear coloured tint. I wore this on a night out the other day and when I woke up I was still wearing it even though I did try and take it off. I find it quite difficult to apply so I would use a lip liner but I don't ha I don't like buying lip liners so I can't be bothered. It's very like, liquidy when it goes on um, and you can build it though so you can get the right colour and then it does stain your lips. So if you're going clubbing that works really well because then when you're a few drinks in you don't have to bother reapplying when you're drunk because that never ends well. This is the first thing I ever bought in Sephora. Look at it, it's so beautiful. This is, so this is a Dior Lip Addict lipstick in Made A 651 Light. I looked, I can't find it anywhere. So this is just one that I really, really love. It's kind of a bit sentimental. Um, again, it makes me just feel pretty. And it's a really good, like, sort of <laughs> juicy red lipstick. This one is the coolest packaging. It is also the last lipstick in this entire video. Look at it. Ooh, that has to... Mm. It smells so good. On my head, this is like, I'm a 50-year-old woman laughing about her, the amount of money she's made in the settlement for her third divorce. Um, that's kind of what the vibe I get from this lipstick. I just think it's so cool um, and I really like it and it's a really good lipstick again. There's not much I can say about these formulas because they're all quite similar despite the different like rouges but I just really like all of them and I kind of wanted to tell you how I feel. This is why I'm not a beauty guru but I just really really like lipstick and I'm looking at all of it and I'm like Jesus Christ I do have a problem. But let's be real, you wouldn't be watching this video if I didn't. So, that is all of the fucking lipstick I currently am in possession of. There has been more, but I can't keep all of it because makeup actually does go off. Fun fact. I finally did this video, I've been meaning to do it for like a year. If you have any lipstick recommendations, leave me questions down below. If you have any more specific questions about any lipsticks or brands and stuff, leave me those down below. I will do my best to help you with those. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I make new videos every Tuesday and Thursday at HGMT time. Like, subscribe, and all my jazz, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Work with these people.